Hey, Mitch Abrams here. Welcome to the channel. This is the first video in my new series. I'm going to be traveling around pretty much all over the world, uh, eating good food, street food, good restaurants. We're going to go everywhere from burgers to pizza to fine dining. So uh, if you like food, join me. This is going to be a lot of fun. So we're jump right into it. You know, my, I was told that one of the first things I ever said as a baby, was, the first word was cheeseburger. I don't know if I buy that. But I've always been a huge fan of cheeseburgers. So this first video, we're going to do two things. We're going to go to Five Guys, and we're going to go to Shake Shack. We're going to look at them both. We're going to eat them both and see which one uh, we prefer. We may love them both the same. Who knows? But we're going to start with Five Guys. We're, we're right here, right now. Let's go on in and get one. Okay. It's a nice day, so I thought I'd sit outside. And also, there's some folks inside eating. It's lunchtime. I don't want to bug them. And uh, they're playing some music that I don't have the rights to to uh, have on the video, so I probably don't want to uh, get that on the camera too much. Um, one of the things with Five Guys that people always talk about, that I hear anyway, is uh, the, the price can be a little high, right? So I just got a uh, bacon cheeseburger and a small fries, and the total is $20.02. So for a semi-fast food joint, it's, it's, you know, it gets up there. We'll compare that to the price to, to uh, Shake Shack and see where we come out. So I'm in Northern Virginia now. I'm about a half an hour from the original Five Guys that opened up in Arlington. So kind of feels local. My first exposure to Five Guys was pretty wild. I had just moved uh, to the area about 20 years ago. I was looking for a burger joint. It was lunchtime. And I go to Five Guys. Somebody recommended Five Guys. So I go over there and I'm watching them make the burgers. And I'm watching every patty come out as a double patty. And I'm look, thinking to myself, is everybody ordering doubles? What's going on? Came to figure out pretty quick that every burger is a double burger. So that made me pretty excited. So I've been a Five Guys fan ever since. You know, I think they've got a great product. It's one of the, uh, you know, they've got uh, fresh meat, never frozen. They do, do things right. You know, the fries are cooked in peanut oil. And they've got bins of peanuts in there uh, that you can, uh, you can eat while you're waiting. So it should be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go get my food. Okay. So, picked up the food. Now, Five Guys, no matter if you're getting it to go or you're staying here, you're getting the bag. And you're getting the little grease on the bottom. Now, what I like to do, and especially if I'm eating at the restaurant at Five Guys, is I can get the burger out. It's buried by a mountain of fries. Burgers come wrapped in foil. What does foil do to bread? It steams it. So I like to unwrap my burger as quick as I can and uh, keep that bun a little bit more firm rather than just steaming it up. So when you do get when I do get takeout, sometimes it steams it a little much. So let's take a look at this burger. Okay. This is nice. This is pretty nice looking. Bun, not steamed. Still pretty good. I just got uh, bacon, cheese, lettuce, and pickles. Looks pretty good. Patties look great. Let's dive in. Oh, and the requisite bag of fries, right? So we're diving in right now. Wow. So looks great. Lettuce is crunchy. It smells like meat. Smells like beef. That's good. A good beef taste. Talking about mouthful. You can see the patties are a good size. There's a good beef taste. The cheese is that classic American. Right? That's what I want on a burger. I just love the way it melts. Lettuce is crisp. Pickles are cool. We've got a good flavor. It's a classic Five Guys burger. Now, I got a small fry. That's plain. Fill up the cup and dump in a ton of extras. I don't know if you can see that. There you can. So, I got a lot of fries. 
fries are good. They look good. A little bit of a snap. They're hot. Five guys will cook your fries when you order, which I like. They're good. They're seasoned well. They're soft on the inside. They've got a good crunch on the outside. I mean, they're not super snappy, but they're good. They pride themselves on where they get the potatoes from. There's sacks and sacks of potatoes on the inside, and they've got a sign up. I'm not sure where the potatoes are from today, but there's usually a sign up saying, where are these potatoes from? All right. Fries are good. They do serve shakes. I've had them before. And they're good. I just didn't want a cup of soft ice cream with my lunch today. I'm not knocking it. I love a shake, but couldn't do it today. It's good. It's 13 bucks for a, let's see. A bacon cheeseburger, $13.09 before tax. So, by no stretch of the imagination, is this an inexpensive uh, fast food burger. Now, may not be a gourmet burger. Kind of in that middle road, you know. We've got other places like In-N-Out and on the West Coast. you got Shake Shack. To some degree, you've got, uh, you know, places like BurgerFi. So middle of the road. Some of them are more fast food than others. Now, there's a place not far from here that's doing a burger. Getting the, the beef from local farms, grass-fed beef, um, making their buns in-house. And that comes with a side of fries. And each of their burgers is two patties as well. So I think they're charging for a basic cheeseburger right now about 15 bucks with a side of fries. So that's pretty good. And that one I would call a little bit higher end, grass fed beef, etc. Um, so In and Out, or I beg pardon, Five Guys, you know, they're up there in price. But they're good. Now I'm going to eat this whole thing. I may not eat all these fries, or I'll need a nap. Then we're going to try Shake Shack, and I'm really looking forward to that. I just got a article. I saw an article the other day in the local paper. They're building a Shake Shack not far from where I live, within about 20 minutes. So I'm kind of excited about that. I like Shake Shack. That burger just hits right sometimes, you know? That cheeseburger just hits right. About 80 degrees, sun shining. Is there anything bad about sitting outside eating a cheeseburger and fries on a nice day? Man, I'm telling you. I do that all the time. The burger's holding up good, too, as I eat it. Not a greasy burger at all. It's There's not juice running down my, my arms. You know, I don't know if they left a lot of juice on the flat top. Um, I mean, it's a well-done burger. There's no pink in it, so they cooked it for sure. But this is not a greasy burger. Maybe I got lucky. So like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a new, new channel. I've had other channels. And so I'd like to welcome my subscribers from my other channels to this one. Why food? He said, well, we all got to eat, <laughs> right? And I love to eat. Like I said in the, uh, on the channel, on the about section, you know, I'm that guy who will go to Philly and eat cheesesteaks at all the good cheesesteak shops all day and just to, to see which one I like the best. So I love it. Uh, fine dining. 
I'll go to as many Michelin star places as I possibly can, or as many as I can afford. So everything from, you know, pizza, which that's a whole other topic, which we'll get into. You know, I'm a culinary school grad with a focus on pastry. So I've always been into food and um, I plan my trips around food. So subscribe to the channel because not only am I going to be hitting up specialties in, this, in, in our country, if you're in another country, I'm in, I'm in the United States, but I'm going to be hitting up international. Next year, I've got trips planned to Spain, Italy, Portugal, France, many towns in each of those countries. I'm going to eat my way through them. I'm going to go to Paris. I want to find where they make the best baguette. I want to find out where they make the best croissant. It's going to be something else. It's going to be really insane. So I think if you come along for the ride, you're going to have a good time. So let me finish this burger. And I'll be right back. I have a lot of fries. I can't eat all the fries. Okay. I got to stop eating. No more fries. I'm not even going to try to finish all these fries. I can't do it. Final thoughts on Five Guys. Well, I think I made it pretty clear at the beginning that I like Five Guys. I think they do a great job. The price is what it is. I think you're getting good a good burger. I think the, the beef is good, it tastes fresh, it was cooked well, the fries are good. We're going to head out of here, I'm going to take a break, and then we're going to go to Shake Shack, because if I eat Five Guys and Shake Shack right back to back, I won't be able to drive home. So, I'm going to take a break, I'll catch you at Shake Shack. Okay, so we're, we're at Shake Shack now, very crowded, so I'm facing the wall, that way I don't have to worry about faces. So, it's, uh, we did Five Guys the other day. Had to take a break. Now we're, we're back today. So let's talk about Shake Shack for a minute. Price, about the same. Not too far off. It was, here I've got two people with me. Same type of burger. Cheeseburger, bacon. It's a double patty with fries. 32 bucks for two. At Five Guys, it was 20 bucks for one. So Five Guys is uh, still a little bit more pricey, but it's not too bad. Shake Shack, same concept, right? That middle of the road burger. Um, it's not going to be your high end. It's not your super fast food. Fries, crinkle cut, Shake Shack, or uh, Five Guys, straight in peanut oil. So we'll do the comparison. Uh, so we're waiting on our food. As soon as the food's here, we'll, uh, we'll see what, uh, what we've got. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Our food's here. Let me show you what we're, what we're looking at. Okay. So just on first looks, this is the Five Guys burger, uh, if you remember, was, was a, uh, kind of a different ballgame. This thing is a little squished um, bacon looks a little pre-made it doesn't it's definitely not as crispy as the five guys um, one little piece of lettuce and it, it's definitely not um, as put together as the five guys burger without a doubt um, fries look good um, we'll get into the fries but just on first looks bun it's a potato style bun it's gonna be a little flatter than the five guys bun definitely definitely flat um, um, it, it look it looks like it's been uh, worked over a little bit. Let's let's uh, give it a shot. Okay, let's look at it. French fries, crunchy on the outside. I like crinkle cut. Good, salty, seasoned well. Light on the inside. Now, obviously, it's going to be different than the Five Guys fries. They're hand cut. They're cooking them in peanut oil. I don't know what kind of oil they're using at Shake Shack. Um, pretty good. For a crinkle cut, they're good. Now, let's try burger. The burgers look good. There's a good, good char on the burgers, which is nice. And I'm smelling beef, which is good. That's a good sign. It's much greasier than the Five Guys burger. Much greasier. Bottom bun, totally greased out. I mean, right here. It is just, it's wet, saturated with grease. That's not too cool. I mean, it's like, and this is this is fresh. I mean, we didn't get this to go. We're sitting in the restaurant. This thing is saturated with grease. So I like a little bit of juicy burger. I don't like a super saturated bun that is like paste. 
that's that's not good considering you just got it off the grill. What would it be like if I did this to go? Uh, anyway, that would be bad. All right, give it a shot. Hot. It's good. Good beef flavor. Um, same American cheese, like Five Guys have. Um, nothing to the lettuce. Can't even tell the lettuce is there. Lettuce is just one little skinny piece of wilted lettuce. So, might as well not be there. Let's try the bacon. Bacon. Not as good a quality as Five Guys. So, I'm getting a lot of affirmative nods on that. Um, bacon is more like the uh, pre-cooked, um, almost like if, if you went to, uh, taste something like, like Burger King. Like if you go to get a Burger King bacon double cheeseburger, it's very similar. It has the same look, texture, and taste. It may not be the same style. Well, but this bacon is nothing to write home about. Um, there's no crisp to the bacon. And they're churning out food here. This place is packed right now. There's a line out the door, which we just stood on. So there's really, you know, this food should be hot and fresh. The burger's hot. They just cooked it. But the bacon, it's got bacon flavor, but it's that fast foody bacon, which, um, you know, I'm not expecting gourmet here. It's, you know, semi-fast food, but that tastes like it. The beef is good. It's juicy. It's definitely juicy. It's cooked. You can see it's cooked uh, pretty well. When I say well, well done. Um, there's no pink in it. And it still has a lot of juice. So this is a high fat content uh, burger to be that juicy and, you know, and cooked well done. So it is what it is. We're going to eat and then... I'll give you my wrap up on this. So I've got a buddy here today and we were just talking about the fries. And the fries, they don't look greasy. Let me show you the fries. They don't really look greasy, right? They're good. And they're not overly greasy, but they kind of have that taste of a little greasiness to them not and i know it's french fries and i know that they're fried and there's oil and they're gonna taste that way but these have a little old oil taste that may be it and there's not a big potato flavor i know it's processed i know it we're kind of at a fast food point but five guys that's what we're talking about here we're comparing five guys to shake that the five guys fries had much more pronounced potato flavor hey five guys they pride themselves on those french fries, right? You walk in, they've got the sacks of potatoes. They've got the sign telling you where the, pota where the potatoes are coming from. They've got the awards on the wall, best fries in, in so-and-so, whatever area you're in. Um, so I get it. Their fries should be better, and they are. Um, burger here, again, good beef. Um, yeah, it's grease. There's a lot of grease. I mean, again, you can see this. I don't know if you can see it. The bun is total pasty, turned into paste from the grease. Now, let me wrap it up here instead of wrapping it up outside because um, it's windy out there. So, Five Guys, when we do it, we're talking about Five Guys versus Shake Shack. It's Five Guys um, across the board for me. Now, we've got um, cost-wise, sure, Shake Shack is less, Five Guys is more. Um, Burger, good beef quality or good beef taste. Um, Five Guys wins just from a um, a grease perspective and an ease of ease of eating perspective. And uh, I think that you've got a better quality bun. Uh, I love a potato bun. Trust me. And maybe if this wasn't so greasy and, and it didn't turn into paste, it would have been um, a little bit better. Now I know in a restaurant 
and they're cooking a lot of burgers and they're real fast that that grill fills up with grease i've been there i've done it i i was a burger slinger for a long time when i was a teenager i get it but what you got to do you got to get that grease off that flat top before you put new burgers down right i don't i don't know what's going on i don't know if that's what they're doing or not but there's there's an excess amount of grease um from a fries perspective, it's five guys. From a, car, uh, a burger perspective, it's it's five guys. From a cost perspective, it's certainly Shake Shack. I got two people here. I fed two people for thirty-two bucks. It was five guys. It was one person for twenty bucks. So there's the math. Um, if Shake Shack's around, I would go, but I give it more chances. But for now, it's five guys. All right, that wraps up this thing. We're on to another spot. Um, please subscribe. Like I said uh, in the Five Guys segment. Um, we're going to build this channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go all over. So we're, we're leaving right now. We're going into Washington, D.C. We're going to a very iconic place. So the next video is going to be all about Ben's Chili Bowl. Uh, it's iconic. It's historic. And we're going right now. So stay tuned. Talk to you soon.